If you're anything like me, you likely experience neck or back pain when spending 10 plus hours a day sitting at your desk. Sometimes the pain can be exaggerated with the way you've slept the night before or from an activity outside the office. Either way, continuing to sit for longer periods generally only worsens the pain and taking breaks from your work might not fit your schedule. Adding a standing desk to your setup allows the opportunity to stand for periods which can be the relief you need. So I bought five of the most popular standing desks under $300 on Amazon to see if there were any options if you're on a tight budget or maybe just unwilling to spend a lot on your first desk. Starting with my least favorite of the bunch, the SHW from Simple Housewares. Now this was the least expensive option in the list that I tested and this one started at $239 with a larger size available for just under $300. I liked that this desk did come standard with a four button programmable switch with digital readout and a one touch functionality. It also included some basic wire management, which I found to be similar in quality to Ikea's wire management systems, which can be really nice for a desk at this price point. And of all the desks in the list, this one was the only one with serviceable wire management that didn't come with an additional upcharge. Now I do have a hard time recommending this model for a few reasons and the first is the most glaring and it was the two piece top design that I found to be less than desirable. This was done to cut down on shipping costs by minimizing the box size and people in the reviews really did complain of the gap that it caused. Now you could definitely spend a little extra money and buy a separate top although I don't know if that would be worth the extra cost. Overall it also wasn't very smooth in operation I noticed that it jumped around a bit as it moved up and down. And one of my other biggest gripes from an aesthetic standpoint was that it just wasn't very clean. The columns themselves, the uprights were pretty gross after only a short use with a dark grease that showed up and down each of the legs. I'd recommend probably looking at a black frame if this ultimately is the desk you decide on as this would hide the grease a bit better. Now this desk did move painfully slow up and down and its one year warranty wasn't great in my opinion either. Next up, the Fazebo, and the Fazebo started around $250 with a ton of different options currently available on Amazon.com. One thing that I noticed right away is that this product shows extremely well on Amazon in their photos, especially the top and storage appearing to be a lot higher quality than they actually are in real life. Even so, this didn't necessarily live up to the pictures. It's probably the most home use looking desk in the list. So if you're looking or wanting to avoid that commercial look that's typically found on most standing desks, this might be a nice option. The Facebo also included some wire management, but I found that it was super flimsy and would have a hard time holding much weight. It does come standard with a solid three year warranty on the entire desk frame, electronics and top, which is much better than the SHW, which we looked at previously. Now, unfortunately with the Fazebo, this is another desk with a two piece top design. And that's really one of the reasons again, why I'm having a hard time recommending it. The minimum sitting height also starts at 29 inches, which is going to be a little bit tall for someone even like myself at six feet and under. I found that the frame was super lightweight too, which definitely didn't bode well for the stability testing that we did with the desk. And overall, while the Fazebo is different, I probably recommend starting with the next three desks in the list. The Workstream by Monoprice starts around $279 and is the first desk in the list that I'd actually feel good about recommending, but it is sort of on the edge depending on your overall need. From an assembly standpoint, this was the easiest desk to assemble with the top frame already pre-assembled to the desk surface, really just requiring you to attach the desk legs to the upper frame and then attach the feet to those legs. Overall, I would say this is probably the most complete looking desk of the group as well. And I really enjoyed the look and feel of the programmable switch that came with this desk for under $300. The Workstream did come with collision avoidance, a safety feature that back drives the desk when it bumps into something, whether it's moving up or down. This is an important feature since the desk does include a one touch functionality. I did find this feature to be pretty sensitive, but it can be adjusted by the user after you've received the desk, which can be a nice thing to have. One of my biggest issues though with the Monoprice desk is the short one year warranty that they included on all the components of the desk frame and surface. I really think it would have been nice to have been closer to the three year warranty that we have seen on some of the other desks, especially with the desks that we're recommending in this list. It also includes a lifting capacity of only about 110 pounds, which is about 40% less than the other two desks ranked higher than it in this list. Now, of course, depending on your needs, this may or may not matter from a weight capacity standpoint. 
Overall, I found the stability of the work stream to be just okay overall in the standing desk category, but it was the best of all the desks that we tested here. The Vivo starts around $279 and is tied for one of the most expensive desks that was tested here in the list. It's also available in a bit larger size if you need some more space at just over $300. Now I'd say this is probably the first desk in the list to have a more solid commercial feel to it. The frame itself was thicker and the top it being at one inch definitely had a more heavy duty feel to it as well. I really like that this desk did come standard with a three button programmable switch, which is similar to the SHW or their Workstream product, which allows you to utilize that one touch functionality. That's definitely a nice feature to have. The Vivo also comes with a three-year warranty, which is consistent across the frame, electronics, and the surface, which is on par with the best of these desks under the $300 mark. Now, of course, the desk isn't perfect because it is under $300, so there are some shortcomings. First, it's the slowest of the three desks that I'd recommend looking at. Not a ton slower than the others, but it is 0.9 inches per second versus a one inch per second. It may or may not be an issue for you. To be honest, all of the desks that I tested under $300 were quite a bit slower than desks in the mid to upper range of the standing desk category. And I wasn't very happy to see that the Vivo didn't include a collision avoidance system. This is especially true considering it did have a one touch functionality. So this is a safety concern for me. And then additionally, there was no overload protection, meaning if you put too much weight on the desk and overloaded it, there's nothing that's going to trigger and stop the desk from moving up or down. My number one overall pick for the list is the FlexiSpot EC1, and this is probably your best value right now starting around the $249 mark. It's also, like the other desks in the list, available in a larger size for just under $300. Now, an interesting story with the FlexiSpot brand, this is actually a brand owned by a parent company called Loctec, the OEM for both the Vivo and the Monostream desks. And this is probably the reason why they have such a cost advantage on those other two brands. Now, because it is from the same manufacturer, you'll see that the design with the FlexiSpot is very, I mean, very, very similar to the Vivo with the inverted column design. You'll find that the frame again seems very solid. The surface itself is almost identical as well. And these are both going to be probably the closest desk to commercial grade in the group. Now, although again, the Vivo is very similar to the FlexiSpot, FlexiSpot has the best warranty in the group, or it appears to be. It depends on really what you value, but they have a five-year coverage on the frame, motors, and other mechanisms, while there's a two-year warranty on the controller, switch, and electronics. Now, this desk does include 154-pound capacity, just like the Vivo, and through testing, we found it really had no issues lifting that or more weight. Now, one thing I'll say, this is probably the most basic of the group with just a standard up and down switch on the desk offered in the EC1. You could spend a little bit more money and get a programmable switch on another model on the FlexiSpot website or even on the Amazon.com website. The other thing is, is this model doesn't include any type of overload protection. And since we tested it and it could definitely go way beyond the 154 pounds it's rated for, I'd probably be cautious here just to avoid voiding any of the warranties from misuse and abuse. And lastly, there isn't any collision avoidance system, but because this is a manual up and down switch, I'm not as concerned with safety here. Hopefully this list helped you better understand if the standing desk under $300 from Amazon would be potentially a good fit. If not, and you wanted something a little bit better quality, check out the next list where we look at the best five standing desks under $1,000. Thanks for watching.